Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your July 14th to the 20th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people and the message of spirit out to more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you are interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneheartcaro.com. I look forward to reading for you. So let's see. Oh, goodness. As everything falls <laughs> apart, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. Fantastic. Okay. So we are crowned here, Pisces, oh, by the emperor. So we are really stepping into our masculine energy and we are really claiming our power and authority of self. The emperor is distinguished, powerful, determined, focused. We are stepping into our sacred masculine energy and we're doing so with pride. So this is a fantastic thing for us, Pisces. Now, Pisces, Aquari no, Aquarius, I was going to say Aries, there's a link to Aries to you. I don't know if you're born on the cusp with Aries or, you know, there's somebody here who has a strong Aries in their chart. It's either you're born on the cusp or you have strong Aries in your chart. You're stepping into that power of very positive masculinity. And you know what? I don't like saying any more positive or negative, you know, masculinity or femininity. What it is, it's mature masculinity or immature masculinity. And you are stepping into the power of your mature masculinity with a real sense of of authority of self of determination but also like okay i gotta get the job done this is what i have to do and this is the clarity that i'm moving forward in and that's also for many 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 you know pisces here listening is that you're like coming out of almost a dream or it's not a dream because it wasn't a dream it's like a nightmare but you're coming out of a time that was really intense that made you feel less than and now you're looking at yourself and you're like i can do this and you're like i just see like putting a hook in and pulling yourself forward, putting hook in and pulling yourself forward. I don't know exactly what that means, but that is the imagery that spirit is giving me. We then have the King of Swords. So very strong air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is very straight shooting energy. So during this week, okay, you're going to talk very plainly and very bluntly, meaning that you're going to get to the heart of the matters really, really rather quickly, which does fall in line with either being the general or being the emperor, right, of this energy here, the God of War ruled by the god of war right aries is the is the greek name for for the god of war uh, mars is the the roman equivalent so here we're really stepping into our power our authority our determination our fire and we're doing so with a clarity of voice and a real sense of like this is what i've been forged for i was stuck into that fire right because a, a sword is forged by being put into tremendous heat and then pounded and pounded and pounded and that's what we have been through to be sharpened to be clarified and then it ne leads us to the Knight of Pentacles, slowly and steadily. So this isn't going to be a fast go. This is going to be something slower, more steady, more like rhythmic, moving forward in our prosperity, in our abundance, but having a real sense of this is my goal, this is where I want to be. We then have the Six of Pentacles reversed. So something is out of balance with pay. Now it can be that you're not being paid for the work that you do. Somebody could owe you money during this time, or you're looking at something and you're like, you know what, no, this isn't fair, or like, I'm being charged too much for what I'm getting. Just be aware of that during this time. We then have the Knight of Swords. Very, very, very strong air sign energy coming up. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So if you have air sign energy in your chart, if you have air sign energy in your life, this person is going to play a huge part of this week. But this is also going to be this real sense of I'm embracing my voice. Knight energy is movement energy. You're going to like to move during this week. You're going to want to move. You can be having business trips or you know having to go to this place or that place you can be even doing a run like oh i have to go to this door to get that for for this door you know type of thing so just being aware of that during this time we then have the two of cups which is healing beautiful love coming in and there's a real sense of embracing the duality of ourselves embracing you know a healing that's that's slowing us down that's centering us that's helping us to move forward in that very focused you know knight of pentacles energy but we're also being very aware of vampiric energy that has held us back and can still hold us back meaning that who do you think you are 
you know, do you really think you can achieve this? Do you really think you can succeed this way? You know, you're getting too big for your britches type of thing. And spirits like you're stepping, you're seeing that vampiric energy. And by seeing it, you then will be stepping away from it. But there's going to be like this light bulb aha moment where it's like, oh, oh, that's it, is it? No, I don't want this. I don't want this and I'm not doing this. So just be very aware of that during this time. Let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a sun in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So good luck to everyone. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is the Blue Jay Reverse. I love Blue Jays. I think they're so, they're so beautiful, but they're also so very clever. And here it is. The time is right to ask, access and master your abilities. Do so with humility and control. So with that being reversed, this can mean that we doubt that it's time to access our abilities, right? But it can also be that we are putting on a false bravado, right? We're really sitting there and like trying to kind of puff ourselves up. Oh, I'm bigger than I actually think I am on the inside. So just be mindful about this during this time as well. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, this is Mother Earth. This is connecting with the earth. Being outside is going to be one of the best things you can do for yourself. Gardening, you know, connecting with the earth, going for a walk in nature is going to be so good for you. With the earth star chakra located six inches below our feet, it's also seeing how we as human beings are connected with the earth. And that's going to be a beautiful thing as well. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is the nine of wands. Be mindful that you feel battered and bruised. Okay. Be mindful that you have been, you have been through a lot. You have been fighting through a lot and we can just feel like it's never going to end. And our body can also be telling us, Hey, you need to rest and slow down. You need to take care of you. So that is going to be very important here as well, because we can be having shoulder pain. I see like a lot of, I see shoulder pain. Okay. Tightness in the neck here. He has his arm in the sling. So just be aware of that, that like, it can feel like our stress is, is hindering our mobility. Of course, always go and see a doctor, but it's like, okay, how do I, how do I release that stress? Because I feel like I'm carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders. And I feel like I'm always getting ready for one more attack, one more attack. So be aware of that because we're stepping out of a time of saying, you know what? I'm always like, I'm going to be on my guard all the time. I like a good fight type of thing. And we're like, no, I don't. I don't. Even though we have the emperor energy crowning us and we're very good at getting the job done, moving forward in our passion, in our fire, we are going to be seeing ourselves during this time, taking on a new role and looking at things like I don't always have to fight, but I do have to stand and create really, really clear boundaries and stand in what's right for me. And that's going to be a really important thing. We are embracing an Aries energy, but we are also going to be embracing being the emperor, not the tyrant, right? The, the reverse emperor is the tyrant. We are going to, to embrace being that really good leader, that, that person who is, you know, distinguished and determined and, and successful. So that is a really important thing. And with the King of Swords, there is a person around us, air sign energy, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they can have just a lot of this in their chart. You might not know about it. This is a person who loves words. They love stories. They love words. They love knowledge. They're like one of those people who has a lot of like facts in their heads and they like to share them. And with the King of Swords, it's moving forward in the power of your voice. You're also going to be seeing that there is a reason that you have been through so much and you've been forged in this way because you have an insight to things here, Pisces, that most people don't even think of. They don't even look at and you're poo-pooing it because it doesn't fall into like the status quo. You weren't meant to fall into the status quo. You were meant to live extraordinarily. It doesn't mean a mansion. It doesn't mean, a, you know, a fancy car, like one of those Hummers that look like tanks. I saw that. That's like wild. It is meant to, to live a life that is exuberantly happy. And that has people's heads turned. That's like, people are like, how did you, how did you do that? How could you get there? 
and it leads us to the Knight of Pentacles. It's slowly and steadily building in our prosperity and success. We want to move really, really quickly, but this is the week where you lay that beautiful foundation for the rest of the house to be built off of. You know, you lay that beautiful foundation and you see yourself growing in such a way that is extraordinary and bountiful. And with the Six of Pentacles, something's going to be out of balance and you're going to have to speak up for yourself. You really are. You're going to have to advocate for you, put that back into balance. And it can't even be just saying it into yourself. It's like, no, you know what? That's not, that's not fair. And I'm not doing it anymore. Or like, I'm not shopping there anymore. I'm not putting up with that person anymore. And it starts to bring you back into balance. With the Knight of Swords, this is being the hero of your story. You're really looking at the way that you want to move forward. And because you have the king right here, right? You know that tenacity and success of you. The Knight of Swords is like, oh, I know that I'm going after so much more than I could ever have imagined. And the Knight of Swords is slaying the dragons, right? It's slaying the demons that we carry in our own mind. It's cutting through the poison of this world and it's ascending. And and awakening a part of us that has been sleeping, that has been too scared to come forward. And then we start to heal. Then we start to heal because we start to love. We start to say, I'm moving forward in love. And what if we all, every single one of us on this earth, chose to walk forward in love, not in judgment, not in anger, not in, you know, resentment, but in love. And that's going to be one of the choices we make during this week is to move forward in love and it changes our whole energy vibration. With the four of pentacles, we're nurturing something. Yes, it's going to be very important to us, but we're also releasing a lot of vampiric energy that has held us back, that has made us doubt our words, that has kept us in a small place. And, and we're not we're not here for the small places anymore. You know, we're here for the vibrancy of our existence and ourselves to shine forward. It moves us then to our subconscious spirit message, which is the parrot. It says, let go of others' thoughts. Exactly, and opinions. That's the four of pentacles. It's like, let it go. It is time to embrace who you really are. And it doesn't matter if it fits in with the narrative of what others want you to be. As long as you're moving forward in love, in kindness, in respect, in a generosity of spirit, then everybody else can kind of like, you know, go jump off a pier type of thing. It moves us then to our chakra message, which is the root chakra. It's holistic health. It's one of my favorite cards. It's moving forward in healing. It is healing. It is connecting with our energy. It is saying, how does my body feel? You know, it's looking at the foods that we eat because food is medicine and it's embracing a healing of ourselves and a sacredness of our body. It's like my body is sacred. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of. This is Libra energy. This is justice. Time frame is September 23rd to October 22nd. But with this Libra energy here and, and justice reverse, it, it can be that we're having a hard time with a Libra, right? Or a Libra energy in our chart. But this is also a sense that things don't, things aren't always going to be just. They aren't always going to be fair. And we can want them to be, and they should be, but they're not going to be. So just being aware of this during this time is going to be really important. But we're carrying a resentment of a judgment with us. And, and it's like, it won't change it. So why are we carrying it? It's just weighing us down. And it moves us then to our subconscious tarot message, which is the seven of swords. We're releasing a lie. We are. We're subconsciously releasing a lie that we told ourselves, that somebody else told us. And we're sitting here and we're looking at it and we're like, it's just not true. And it's just not true for me anymore. And we're freeing ourselves. We're vindicating ourselves as we move forward. All right. All right, Pisces, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Pisces, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless.
拜。